Hey, we're finally inside of the Expo Hall. We are standing in front of what is the Solution Navigator section. Solution Navigator. So they've got compasses and like top topology maps. Not and that kind of navigator. Stuff. No, 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 no. What? So if you come to Microsoft Ignite, you're not quite sure exactly what uh, product that you need to solve a particular problem. Okay. You can come, it's just inside the doors of the Expo Hall. You can talk to the Solution Navigators. They're folks from our consulting organizations okay. who have skills and, and they can basically go, oh, you're trying to solve this problem. They talk across all the products. Absolutely. To so, make the overall solution. Exactly. So what, what they can do is they can say, oh, well, you're going to want to talk to the folks over in Teams, okay. the folks in Identity, and then yep. these Azure guys, yeah, and this, yeah. will, this will help you out. Exactly what they do. So stop in here as soon as you come in the doors, left hand side, meet one of the navigators, and then they'll give you directions where to go. One of the really cool new things here inside of this massive expo hall. Let's go take a look at more. So right smack dab in the middle of the expo hall is this amazing, really cool centerpiece installation. There's lots of stuff that you can get, information you can get from this thing. It's interactive. It is. And storytelling. You can get some sways, yeah. some customer stories, some fantastic stuff. This thing now, they've got it in test mode. Yeah. We had a chance to see it earlier. Oh, It's impressive. worth seeing. Oh yeah. Sitting right at the center of Expo Hall. Now surrounding that are some really key areas that we really are focusing on here in the Expo Hall, talking about some security stuff, uh, deployment stuff, applications, infrastructure, all right around the center. And then of course it expands out right. uh, beyond to the rest of the Microsoft so, Expo. Area. All the different partners are all around the center part of Correct. the Expo Hall with the this lovely installation that's here. And it's broken up into different major chunks of areas. Just the big trick here is look up. Yes. Look up for information on where the different products are and where the solutions are too. Absolutely. Now I want to take you down what we are calling Ignite Boulevard. This Ooh. thing is so super cool. The boulevard, it's this way, right? It's that way. Okay, I think we can get there. Hey everybody, one of the new things here at Microsoft Ignite is just the sheer amount of eateries. We've taken a lot of feedback from you, the Microsoft attendee, and we've actually created some profiles and given you plenty of options to eat. So, as an example, you're more of a grab and go kind of guy because you want to go off and do and see things. Yep, I've got it. I just want to grab my sandwich, move to the next thing. So you can absolutely do that as one of the options. I'm more of a sit and savor kind of guy. So I like will go and I'll pick and choose different components to put it into my box or into my tray, bring it back and sit down and network here locally. One of the most important pieces of feedback that we got from our attendees is the is, is the desire to have some sort of hot food. An and option. we have a hot option right. uh, at the lunches. Now, of course, remember, there's bacon. Mm -hmm. Hot breakfast and bacon every morning. Right. Different. But for lunches, there is a hot option. Different types of bacon. What? There's not just one type of bacon. There's no. different types of bacon. I'm, I, I can't wait for morning already. I know, man. So, <laughs> so you're going to find the eateries all over campus. Yeah. Uh, you'll, uh, on Monday, have some options in the North-South building. And then Tuesday through Thursday, you can get things at the Hyatt, as well as multiple locations over here in the West building, including this one mm -hmm. right here in the Expo Hall. Did, you, did we talk about the market yet? Oh, the market. We're going to go by. We haven't seen it yet. But we'll, that's... we'll talk about the market when we get there. Okay. Another Good. place to get some options for yeah. food. Cool. Let's go look more. Yeah. Where are we now? <laughs> We're in a park. I know, eh? In the middle of a convention center. Yeah. Don't, no, leave the tree alone. So this is one of the cool little new places that, that, that just it's change a, it up a little bit. It's a real tree. It is a real it's, tree. So this wow. is the park. Now, inside yeah. of the park, we've got multiple areas. Yeah. And we'll start out with some of the retail -y options. Right. So over this way, we've got the uh, Microsoft Store. be able to go off and sample the items, be able to purchase things. A little bit further over behind us over here, Still being set up, obviously, is the conference store. Be able to get books and swag and some other materials and sweatshirts and geek shirts and stuff like that. Stuff you wouldn't normally find in the retail store. But going a little bit further into the center part, right over my shoulder, if you need that coffee fix, you want some of that fancy coffee, an espresso, a latte, we've got an amazing little latte stand that's there. Also, I hear during happy hours, might have some beer options. Ooh. So we go further over my shoulder, we have the little technology centers, might be a little bit hard to see there, but if you wanted to kind of get in, and it's basically a, a on the road version of our Microsoft technology centers that we have located all over the world. And then of course here, Inside of the Expo Hall is our Expo Theaters. These are actually sessions. Now, if you missed a theater session, don't worry. It's being recorded. Unlike past years, we heard your feedback. We know that you wanted to see those theater sessions recorded. So whether you sit here, watch it recorded, we've got you taken care of. So there's one park area in here. You find a whole bunch of these different diverse seating options and experiential places. It's a good place to come and just kind of chill and meet up with someone and have a good network conversation. Absolutely. There's going to be a bunch of chairs and stuff out here. It's just, right. a, it's just a good place to hang out. Yeah. Let's go look more. There's more? 
What? One of my favorite shows that I like to watch, Microsoft Mechanics. You want to watch it film? You can do so right here inside of the expo hall. They've expanded the seating area. It's rumored that they have giveaways at every single session, but you what? didn't hear it from us of some kind. I need to sign up. I know, but you have to be here to see it. They're also going to be recording these to be available after the fact and also be part of the live stream on day one, among other things. You'll see lots of personalities, Snovers, Rusinoviches, um, well, you name it, they're basically all going to be there. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great place to come see kind of how the sausage is made if you are one of the big, one of the millions of Microsoft Mechanics fans. Yeah. So you can come check out Jeremy Chapman right there on that stage. We're going to sneak up there and see if we can find him. What the heck are you doing? This, you really, you really wanted to be part of Home Improvement, didn't you? I did. I missed the audition. We actually have hedges. I know. These ones are um, prickly. Yeah, they're, they're, they're a little fake. Yeah. yeah the, <laughs> the park ones were real. Uh, this is the community lounge area. So inside of the community, we have a bunch of stuff. You need to come participate in a lot of the community activities that we have. We can start it with our MVP and our regional director program. Yep. I was going to say, they, they've got podcast areas for being able to do live podcasts in here. They've also got, uh, oh, I see over on the side, we've got yeah. the workshops. Yeah, we've got workshops. It's the, the, the immersion zone. So inside of the immersion zone, remember, we've got hands-on labs, the traditional sit-down, do them kind of by yourself with the screens and the, and the instruction set. Uh, we have our immersion workshops. These are new yep. this year. They required initial sign-up and also check-in to make sure that you're going to be able to be available uh, because those seats are so popular. They keep on shuffling new ones in and making space for people. And then we do, of course, have those instructor-led lab type of things that, uh, where, again, it's one instructor kind of leading you through a bunch of things. You bring your headphones. I was about to say, don't forget those earbuds, headphones. right? Uh, same earbuds. with the hands-on labs, because this area is going to be a little bit loud, a little buzz. There's going to be a lot of buzz, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, so bring those, those headphones if you want to focus in. And I've heard that as different personalities come off the stage from Mechanics Live, yeah. they're going to be hanging out inside of the community area afterwards, for the most part, for the different times you're scheduled for things. So one of the most important places that you're want to, going to want to make sure that you visit is the diversity and technology section of right. this lounge. Whether it be women in technology, all sorts of diversity, there's all sorts of activities. It's not just here either, it's not just the sessions. Diversity and technology and women in technology located throughout the entire event. It, there's still more to go see. I cannot believe it. Let's go. My favorite part is next. Let's go look. Okay. Podcasts? Boy, do we have podcasts here we got at whole, Microsoft Ignite. We got whole areas. They're booked out. They are. There's lots of them. So there's not just the one over in the, uh, the community lounge area. Multiple audio podcast centers, and then what's this behind us? So this is Podcast Central. Ooh. The studio, the stage, there's a whole bunch of different names for it. But basically, this is where we're going to be producing on days two, three, four, and five, the Channel 9 live stream. That will be looking after a curated view plus interviews in between of 8.45 all the way through to the very end. So if you couldn't make it down here to Orlando for Microsoft Ignite, this is your experience that we're curating just for you. Rumor has it, we might actually be on that stage. A couple of times. A couple of times. Oh, and by the way, can we do a plug? We might as well. Okay, yeah, sure. Thursday, 9 a.m., the Patch oh. and Switch Show, live from that stage right there. They're letting us up there. Yeah. Can you believe that? I know, but they will move the scissor lifts. They won't let me drive one, so they have to go. Insurance. <laughs> Hey, we're in the Hangout. Yes. This hangout. is one of my favorite spaces. The Hangout is something that is definitely worth a visit throughout the entire week at different times. What do we got going on here? What's happening? So this massive orange screen behind us literally is the full width of the entire hall. And it has um, available selectable options to be able to listen in on all the different sessions that are streaming and going on live at the time during the night. So if you are here, on Monday morning during the Vision Keynote, you'll be able to catch all of the action live on the big screen behind us. It'll be one screen. But during the individual sessions, there are going to be multiple sessions broadcast at any given time, very similar to a Las Vegas betting wall. It's, each of the chairs has individual power, individual USB, and is super comfy. Oh, have you tried it out? I have. I need to go do that. It's, but you, you really want to come check this place out. I'll, I'll see you later. Yeah. Hey, the last thing we wanted to show you is the market. The marketplace is a cool little place to kind of hang out, more hangout space. More hangout space, different food options. Yep, not some all, grab and go, all... smaller snacky kind of things. Yep, and uh, it's also here just off the boulevard <laughs> in the expo hall. <laughs> the big Ignite Boulevard. Yeah. So that's kind of it, that's a wrap up. Um, the one thing to note that we didn't mention when we were over at the big wall, the big screen just behind it, another meal area. 
and a massive one at that. Oh, so, right behind it. Yeah, And you absolutely. know what? A good friend of ours, Michael Bender, mentioned yeah. that this is a great layout, that if you take one of those days where you're just visiting all the expo pieces and visiting all the partners, yeah. but then you want to catch a session, yeah. just come on down the hangout, watch it, and then go right back into looking at the different vendor sessions. Too. That's a fantastic idea. Good strategy. Hey, so that's it for our sneak peek at the expo hall. A lot of stuff under construction, a lot of things happening. It will be ready by the time you get here to Orlando. And if you're missing out, hey, be sure to catch us on the live streams. Follow us, of course, uh, on Twitter, at Sign Patch and Switch. You use the Twitters for uh, Ignite. What is that hashtag then? Hashtag MS Ignite. We were watching that one all week. Absolutely. So whether we see you here or see you online, we hope to see you.